Oh guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix Monster Hunter whilst crashing at startup uh, or not launching. So first of all, you want to restart your Steam. So just close it and then go to the task manager. And on task manager, you want to find uh, Steam and go ahead and end the task. Now, if that will not fix the problem, you want to go ahead and just restart your PC and see if the problem persists. If the problem persists, go ahead on search, write down Steam right click and run it as administrator if that didn't fix the problem you want to open up steam find monster hunter wilds right click on it go to manage and browse local files uh, now once you will be here you want to go ahead and find two files which is crash report dll and crash report exe you want to go ahead and delete both of these files uh, before deleting them you want to go ahead and make a backup of them on your desktop maybe um, and after that just go ahead and simply delete them just like so now if that still didn't fix the problem you're gonna go and right click on the monster hunter wilds on steam you're gonna click properties and here as you can see there are launch options you want to try out a few things the first one would be dx11 uh, after that you can just go ahead and close it if that uh, didn't fix the problem, then you want to go ahead and try to write down DX12. And uh, if that also didn't work, then you want to try out D3D11, just like so. Now, uh, after these, if that still didn't fix the problem, you want to go ahead and make sure to update your graphics uh, drivers. So for me, it is NVIDIA app. You just want to open it. And right here on drivers, you will see uh, up-to-date drivers and you want to download them. Now, another thing to try out is open up your core isolation on system settings and just turn it off. So you're going to uh, choose memory integrity and turn it off just like so. After that, you need to restart your PC and reinstall your drivers. So NVIDIA, AMD drivers or Intel. Now, if that still didn't fix the problem, you want to go on Monster Hunter Wilds here, manage and browse local files. Then you want to find a Monster Hunter Wilds exe file, this one. Right click on it, properties, compatibility, and run this program as administrator. Uh, now, if that will not fix the problem, you want to go ahead and also disable full screen optimizations and run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 8 and click apply and ok and also go ahead then to properties again and go change um, high dpi uh, settings right there and override high dpi scaling behavior and choose application and then apply and ok now you also want to go to your graphics settings then here you want to search for monster hunter wilds if it's not there then you're gonna add it uh, as a desktop application so for me it is on steam apps common monster hunter wilds and you're gonna just add that exe file once it will be here you want to go ahead and find it just like so and you want to choose high performance nvidia uh, gpu you also want to uh, let the game go to through firewall and virus protection so you're gonna go to virus and threat protection then you're gonna manage the settings right there uh, scroll down until you see exclusions and then you're gonna go ahead and add an exclusion and add the same exe file here you also want to do the same uh, with windows defender firewall open it here you're gonna allow an app or feature to go through windows defender firewall change settings and here you want to um, add Monster Hunter Wilds. If it's not there, then you're going to go ahead and add it. Allow another app. And again, add the same exe file. After that, you want to make sure that private and public are checked. And then you're just going to click OK. You also want to go to Steam, right click on it, uh, go to Properties, Installed Files, and verify the integrity of the game files. Um, another thing to try out if nothing really worked. Go to this link here, to microsoft.com, uh, and you want to go ahead and install Visual C++. So I'm going to leave the link in the description, or you're just going to go and write down install Visual C++, 
Microsoft, Windows, and here you will find these options to download them. Now you also want to go ahead and turn off any conflicting uh, applications like MSI Afterburner, Riva Turner, and some other apps like, for example, for me, OBS may be an issue or browser. Uh, you want to go ahead and um, exit and the task basically to all of them. Now another thing to try out is disable Steam Overlay. So you're going to right click on the game, go to Properties, and here you will see Enable Steam Overlay. So you want to go ahead and turn it off. You also want to do uh, the same for uh, Discord and NVIDIA Overlay. And also the last thing to try out is check for updates. So check if your windows are up to date. If this video was helpful, make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.